Hello and welcome to this video presentation, ASMAT Matting Agents for Wood Coatings. I am Heike Semmler, working at Applied Research and Technology for the Business Line Coating Additives at Evonik. In our Deco Market segment, I am heading the group Wood and Furniture Coating, responsible for EMEA. In today's presentation, we will focus on so-called matting agent based am amorphous silica. These products are ideal suitable to lower the gloss of waterborne, solvent borne, or even radiation curing wood coatings in a very efficient way. The presentation will not only include product recommendations, but will also present some technical information and practical test results for the most suitable ASMAT products for wood and furniture coatings. In the segment of decorative coating, the aspect of lowering the gloss level is quite important. For example, in wood coatings, matte coatings have, beside decorative aspects, also the function to emphasize the natural appearance of the wood. A natural looking wood is currently a fashion trend in wood and furniture coatings. In addition, irregularities of the substrate wood can be covered with a matte coating much easier as with a high gloss formulation. Of course, there is no limitation in matting wood coatings in case a clear or pigmented formulation is in focus. In the field of architectural applications, low gloss formulations also have to fulfill decorative aspects. But here the use of fillers is also important if matting effects are desired. However, matting agent based on silica are also relevant here in case of high-end application or low PVC formulations. Not to forget the possibility to reduce the reflection of, for example, a parquet coating, making the use of matting agent, especially silica-based ones, essential. The use of liquid, highly concentrated so-called matting agent pastes or concentrates is also possible and is facing increasing market relevance over the last years. Matting agent pastes or concentrates offer a dust-free way to adjust the desired degree of matting. Finally, matting agent pastes are in line with modular coating production principles. To lower gloss of a coating, different ways are possible. For example, by adding waxes, fillers or insoluble polymers based on, for example, polyurea. But still the most effective way in matting coating surfaces is the simple addition of silica-based matting agents. By incorporation of silica-based matting agents to the coating formulation, a variety of technical aspects are influenced and should be tested. Beside the efficiency of matting agent itself, for example, the ease of incorporation of the matting agent or the rheology profile of the final coating formulation. These aspects can differ on the type of matting agent as well as the sedimentation behavior of the matting agent. When it comes to the coating film properties, of course, transparency and haptic are important. Finally, the chemical and the mechanical resistance are influenced by the type of the matting agent. Now let's start to dive a little bit deeper into the ASMART silica matting agents. On this slide, you see the most suitable recommendation of ASMAT types for waterborne wood coatings, especially the ASMAT TS100 or the ASMAT OK520. They are recommended for nearly all different applications such as spray, brush or roller application. ASMAT OK6 or 7, a special finer grade matting agent, can be ideally used for curtain coat application. ASMAT 3300 has a special feature when it comes to sedimentation and interaction with PU thickener. But this will be discussed on the following slides. Sometimes it can be helpful to accelerate the incorporation of matting agent by the help of wetting and dispersing additive, such as, for example, Tego Disperse 752W or Tego Disperse 755W. To complete a waterborne wood coating formulation in respect to, for example, foaming, leveling flow or anti-saddling. Uh, also here some first recommendations are included. Just in case some sedimentation issues occur, the anti-saddling products such as Aerosil 200 or Aerosil R972 are the right products here. 
On the next slide, we will look more in details of the different matching agents for waterbound coatings. For example, the ASMART TS100 is a thermal non-surface treated matting agent with relative coarse particles. It can be seen as a market standard for waterborne wood coatings, providing high efficiency and good chemical resistance. ASMART TS100 combines in an ideal way efficiency and high transparency. Additionally, it can be used in UV or solvent borne wood, formulation, wood coating formulations, but here the rheology impact is relatively high. On this slide, you see the result of some practical tests in the lab. The diagram shows the evaluation of the matting efficiency, especially the ASMART TS100, in comparison uh, to other ASMART types and competitor products. The test results are based on a 1K PU waterbound formulation, and the different matting agents are incorporated by just normal mixing via dissolver. The, the amount of matting agent is adjusted in such a way that all samples have the gloss of 20 at 60 degree. In the diagram, we now can see that the ASMAT TS100 uh, has the lowest amount uh, that is needed to get a gloss of 20. Of all the other tested matting agents, higher amounts are necessary. This indicates the very nice high efficiency of the ASMAT TS100. High transparency is one additional key factor of the ASMAT TS100, and this can be seen on the next slide. Here we tested again the 1K PU waterborne wood coating, and the gloss is fixed again to 20 units at 60 degree. After drying of the film, the transparency is measured over a black substrate. The higher the me measured value, the higher is the transparency of the coating film. Again, we can see here that the ASMAT TS100 is outperforming the other tested uh, matting agent in respect to transparency. It can be possible that the ASMAT TS100 leads to sedimentation issues. This can be compensated with anti-settling additives such as, for example, RZ200 or by selecting of a different matting agent named ASMAT 3300. Also, this product is a thermal uh, um, based silica, but now has a certain uh, specific surface treatment. And that treatment is leading to excellent anti-settling behavior, as we can see in this picture here. However, all other nice properties, such as especially the transparency, uh, are still achieved in addition to nice haptic, mar and burnishing resistance. In addition to these effects, ASMA 3300 provides another important feature that is the reduced interaction with PO thickeners. PO thickeners interact associative with surfaces and so also with the surface of matting agents. This can lead to viscosity drop and loss in PO thickener effectiveness when waterborne matte coatings are formulated. On this slide, you can see the tests we performed in two different waterborne wood coating formulations, one 2K PU and one UV waterborne wood coating formulation. Different matting agents are tested, such as the ASMAT TS100 or the ASMAT 3300, OK520, and some competitor products. The gloss level, again, is adjusted for all sample to 20 units at 60 degrees. In the next step, the amount of PU thickener is then determined to achieve a fixed viscosity level of 400 MPAS for the 2 kPu system or 1,200 MPAS for the UV waterbound coating. Finally, we conclude that in both systems, the ASMAT 3300 thanks to its special surface treatment, has the lowest impact on interaction with PU thickener, leading consequently to a stable viscosity profile for the matte coating.
Now we will discuss more in detail suitable matting agents for UV wood coating formulations, especially 100% solid UV, which in general, because of the absence of solvents, are very difficult to mat. The main challenge here is to handle the relative high amount of matting agent that is necessary to get especially very deep mat UV coatings. Our basic recommendation for UV 100% soli can be seen in this chart. ACEMAT 3600 is one of the highlight products that can be used for all different kinds of formulations. As I mentioned, the matting of 100% UV is quite challenging. Additional other products are important to mention here. For example, the ASMAT um, 810, a non-treated silica for more than more thin coating layers, and the ASMAT OK for 12 for thicker layer, especially at curtain coating application. Again, we can recommend wetting and dispersing additives that can have a positive impact on the rheology profile of the UV mat coating as normally relative high amounts of matting agents are necessary in UV coatings. In particular, the Tigo Dispers 688 and Dispers 689, solvent and monomer free wetting and dispersing additives should be mentioned here. These some products are highlighted to improve the deforming, leveling, and uh, flow or the anti-settling in UV coatings. Finally, not to forget the Edit 900, a C-Lane based product to control additionally the viscosity of a high filled matte UV coating preferred in combination with a wetting and dispersing additive. As mentioned before, the ASMART 3600 is one of our favorite matting agents in 100% UV wood coatings. It is a precipitated surface treated silica and uh, with a particle size which is quite in a finer range, I can say. Specific for the ASMAT 3600 is that it combines excellently transparency and high efficiency. This especially for higher film thickness. But the two key points are first, the low impact on viscosity of the matte UV coating, and second, its combination ability with wetting and dispersing additives to lower viscosity up to even Newtonian flow behavior, especially with Tego Disperse 688 or the 689. The performance of efficiency and low viscosity impact can be seen in the next two diagrams. The test is performed in a 100% solid so-called solvent-free UV wood coating formulation. Different matting agents are tested, such as the ASMAT 3300, ASMAT 3600, and two competitor products. The needed matting agent amounts are added to the formulation by simple mixing to achieve a fixed gloss level of 15 units at 60 degree. After that, the rheological profile is, uh, is measured uh, is measured. After, um, in respect to efficiency, we can see that the ASMAT 3300 and 3600 are both performing very good. Now, in combination with the corresponding rheological measurement, as you can see in the diagram on the right, the ASMAT 3600 gives additionally the lowest impact on viscosity. In the combination of effectiveness and low viscosity impact, the ASMAT 3600 is really outperforming all the tested matting agents here. A really high challenge in 100% UV formulations is to achieve a deep mat, so very low gloss level appearance. Beside proper selection on oligomer, monomers, photo initiators, and application parameters, the selection on the most suitable matting agents is also essential for the success. We see, especially in roller application, a dependence on the applied film thickness and the particle size of the matting agents, so that we select for relatively low film thickness with ASMAT 810, a more coarser matting agent. At relatively high film thickness, the ASMAT OK412, a finer particle 
size matching agent is recommended. Still, the ASMART 3600 is an excellent choice in that application because of effectiveness and rheological behavior. All matting agents can be combined with Tego Disperse 688 or 689 to control the viscosity and to boost additionally that, for example, by the combination with the uh, Edit 900. Foam issues can be controlled by addition of a deaerator, such as a very universal silicon-free Tego RX 920 or the more powerful Tego RX 900. Last but not least, the surface appearance of the roller applied UV coating can be improved by the slip additive Tego Glide 432 or 435 and the substrate and flow additive WET 500. Last but not least, let's have a look on the classical solvent-borne wood coatings and the suitable matting agents here. As a standard product for the popular spray application, we can name the ASMAT OK520. ASMAT OK412, a similar particle size, is a standard recommendation for brush or roller application. If more finer grades are needed, with, let me say, a more haptic effect, the ASMAT OK for, uh, OK607 um, can be uh, named and the ASMAT 3600. Both are very good options in a solvent-borne wood coating formulation. A special grade is the ASMAT 900, a quite coarse matting agent with good efficiency, nice transparency and low sheen. Tego Disperse 6 to 8 is a suitable wetting and dispersing additive for these matting agents in classical solvent bond wood coatings. It can be also used to create highly concentrated matting agent pastes. Again, in case of foam issues, improvement in leveling and flow and anti-settling, we as CID can offer suitable products as well for solvent bond wood coatings most suitable products you can see in this table here. There are a variety of matting agents in our portfolio suitable for solvent-borne wood coatings, but as a highlight, we can name the ASMAT OK520, mainly because it can be described as a universal matting agent with a good overall performance and efficiency and good transparency. Additionally, it is a very good alternative for waterborne formulations um, and the organic treatment supports the incorporation and the anti-settling properties. Some practical tests have been performed as well. And here we are comparing different matching agents from our portfolio and some competitor products in the classical 2KPU wood coating formulation. The efficiency of the tested matting agents can be seen here in the first diagram. Again, we fixed the gloss level here to 30 units at 60 degree and compared the needed amount of matting agent. The most effective products are the ASMAT, OK, uh, ASMAT 810, the 3300 or the OK520, our standard product. The two Competitor products needed higher dosages in this test. If it comes now to transparency, as we know, the higher the value, the better the transparency. Again, we can see that the ASMAT OK520 is one of the leading product in this test. Last but not least, in addition to efficiency and transparency, the sedimentation behavior has been evaluated of the samples. These photos show the testing of the sedimentation behavior after storage time in the 2KPU solvent bond wood coating. As these photos indicate, the OK520 gives no issues in sedimentation, same as the other surface treated matting agents, the OK412, uh, ASMAT OK607, or the ASMAT 3300. Now we come to the end of the video pre presentation and we have discussed and highlighted some of our matting agents, but no doubt 
there is a complete product family of silica-based matting agents available as seen in this overview here. Starting from the different manufacturing process as precipitated and thermal silica products, these matting agents are available with or without surface treatment. And finally, the products differ in their particle size from finer to coarser. All these parameters together are leading to different effects and different performance of the matting agent in the final wood coatings. This gives you as a formulator the choice to pick out the right product to fulfill the needed wood coating profile. If you have questions, just get in contact with us. We are happy to support you in your specific questions on matting agents for wood coatings. If you have more questions related to additives, co-binders, matting agents, all that in wood coatings, we are a globally acting team of experts, happy to support you. Just get in contact with us in China, Southeast Asia, America, EMEA, or MEA. Thank you for your attention.